This is Mark Swartz. We're making the cut, giving you the NBA playing games tonight, Eastern Conference. Here I am for the predictions. It starts at 6.30 on TNT with Charlotte at Indiana. This game, you know, it's, it's hard to pick for Charlotte. They lose a six in a row, even though they've beaten Indiana two out of three times this season. They're just not playing well right now. But we found out earlier today that the Pacers will not have Levert. So that really changes the game. It didn't really sway the line as much as I thought. Indiana this morning was minus three. They are at minus two now. I don't know how much Hornets money is going on that because of the news that came out earlier this morning. The Pacers are at home. You just kind of feel like how um, Shaw has been playing that, that Indiana being at home should be enough for them to win with Sabonis. Uh, just Force feeding them the ball. Again, the Hornets hasn't shown any life. Even in a must-have game, you know, the, the game against the Wizards on Sunday, you would have thought that the Hornets would have performed well. Instead, they, they blew a big lead and uh, allowed the Wizards to sneak into that A spot, which we'll talk about in a second. So I'm telling you, go with the Pacers minus two. In the nightcap, 9 o'clock, the Washington Wizards are at the Boston Celtics. That's going to be a great one here in the eyes in, in the Washington, D.C. area will be on this game. As you know, the Caps are already playing the Bruins. And you have the Wizards and the Celtics here. Look, the Wizards are definitely um, a very hot team. That backcourt's good. Westbrook, Beal, even though Beal's not 100%. But I'm telling you, it has been the complimentary parts that will um, have to show up for the Wizards tonight. It's going to have to be guys like Rui. It's going to have to be guys like Alex Lynn. And Gafford and those guys have to show up and play big parts against the Celtics because you know this is going to um, resolve around Jason Tatum. Now, the Wizards did as the season go on. They did get better defensively. Now, that doesn't mean they were a great defensive team. It was just that they weren't, you know, objectively horrible like they were in the, earlier in the year. The Celtics are at home. They're favored by two. I mean, there's every piece of me that wants to pick the Washington Wizards tonight. But I am going to go with Brad Stevens and the Celtics minus two points. So, again, our picks for tonight's Eastern Conference playing games is the Indiana Pacers minus two and the Boston Celtics minus two.